Ever pondered why the cheetah runs so fast or why the chameleon changes its colors? These marvels of nature aren't just random happenstance. They're the result of millions of years of evolution, driven by the need to survive and thrive in a constantly changing environment. Species adapt, change and evolve to meet the challenges of their habitat. And this isn't just some wild guess, it's a well-established scientific principle. The magic behind this incredible adaptation is a concept known as natural selection. Imagine a world teeming with life forms, each striving to survive, to reproduce, to pass on their traits. Picture the polar bear evolved to withstand the Arctic's harsh chill, or the camel adapted to endure the desert's relentless heat. These creatures, so different yet so alike, share a common story, the story of evolution. The more suited an organism is to its environment, the higher its chances of survival and reproduction. This survival of the fittest is the essence of natural selection. In the midst of these evolutionary tales, a man named Ronald Fisher proposed a theorem. This theorem, known as Fisher's Fundamental Theorem of Natural Selection, has been critical in shaping our understanding of the process of natural selection and evolution. It states, quite simply, that the rate of change in fitness of any organism at any time is equal to its genetic variance in fitness at that time. To break it down, this means that an organism's ability to survive and reproduce is directly related to its genetic makeup. The more genetic diversity, the more potential there is for rapid change in fitness. This theorem elegantly captures the essence of natural selection, viewing it as a force that moulds species over time, driving the endless ebb and flow of life on Earth. Fisher's theorem, an elegant explanation of the complex dance of life and evolution, is a testament to the power of natural selection.